Hey everyone, welcome back to part 3 of the PHP tutorials. Um, it's still the same day of course, but uh, now that we have it submitting information using the post method, we can create their account. Uh, first we're going to have to go into some MySQL or MySQL and I'm going to use PHP MyAdmin for this. So I'm just going to go to uh, local host slash php my admin just like that and if you're using web server it'll be the same um, if you're not using web server it might be different might not I'm not sure you can find out by Google or looking at the home page of your local host before you delete it and stuff so yeah I'm just gonna create a new database and I'm gonna name this php tutorial I'm just gonna click create uh, I'm going to create a new table called users or called yeah users and let's see I need username and password so I'm just going to do three fields and you'll see why I did three fields I'm just going to hit go and we're going to come back to our PHP um, uh, designer or Dreamweaver you know and I'm going to create another field above username and I'm going to put tr um, table row and I'm going to put real name oops I did do that in a tr didn't I um, td oops there we go and then td um, input type equals text name equals name I'm just gonna put name I'm just gonna save that and I'm just gonna look at this again I'm gonna hit continue oh actually I'm just gonna resubmit so now I have real name username password and repeat password so in here first one oh I'm going to add five, so I'm going to add one more field. Um, okay, field. I'm going to have four fields, I'm sorry. Field one will be ID, and I'm just going to scroll along. I'm going to leave everything the same, and I'm going to make it AI, which is auto increment. Uh, I'm going to name the second one uh, name, and this is going to be a varchar, varchar. Length will be, let's say, 35. So that's 35, and then um, I'll leave everything else the same. And then next one will be username. This is going to also be a varchar, and we'll make the length of that. I'm going to make mine um, 16. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be 16 because mine. Is only 15 letters, which is Java Killer 124. So I think, nope, I'll make it 24. Not 247. Um, and then password will be a text. T E X T. And actually, let me look. Um, it'll be, yeah, it'll be text. And I'm not going to put a length on that because we are going to be MD5ing it, which MD5 means, I don't know what it means, but it basically encrypts it. I'm just going to save it. And, okay, now we have all this. So, let's, let's okay, I'm sorry, I just spaced out. Um, we're going to go to PHP tuts oh actually we're gonna go back to our includes file folder we're gonna create a new file and we're gonna name this um, and includes .php I'm gonna actually name it includes and in the in includes folder it's perfect okay in here um, we're going to include no we're not hum we're going to do um, MySQL connect um, 
what is it, localhost, username, mine's root, password, I don't have any, and that's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to do that. And then MySQL select db um, php tutorial. So I'm just going to save that. I'm going to come back to index.php. At the very top, I'm going to do include includes.php. I'm going to put that around parentheses, or not parentheses, but, well, you know, parentheses and apostrophes. I'm just going to do that, save it, and now we have this. We have nothing. We have ID, name, username, and password. So now let's come back to register.php and let's start submitting the information. First, we're going to do if username, actually, we're going to do, yeah. If on um, the post password equals equals and then underscore post v password verify is what we named it down here. Password verify. And then we're just going to have that. We're going to do else, echo, sorry, or we're just going to echo passwords do not match. And then we'll refresh. Oops, no, actually I'm going to hit register. Um, oh, okay, I know how to fix that. Uh, we're going to go back to our index and we have to do slash ink slash so it knows where to find it. Okay, there. Now we're not going to type anything for password and we're going to hit submit. We had no errors. So now we're going to come back and I'm going to type test for password and test for repeat password. It works. So now I'm just going to type test and I'm going to type random stuff and repeat password. Passwords do not match. It's perfect. Oops. Register. Okay. So we have that. And also, go back to your register.php, and for input type on password, make that password, not text. I'm sorry. Password. Okay, save it. Refresh. Now it's password. Perfect. Just how we wanted it. Okay. Now we're going to come back. Oops. We'll come back here, and we'll have this if and then we're going to open up some more MySQL databases or open up some yeah I don't know uh, we're going to do res equals MySQL query yeah select oops select all from users where username equals uh, I, I'm hoping you can f kind of follow along with me typing because I don't really say everything I type, but I try to. Um, and then we'll do, you know, dot, po um, the post and then username and, um, num rows and then num rows equal mysql fetch asoc uh, res wait mysql num rows oh yeah okay sorry erase mysql fetch asoc and put mysql num rows res res okay save it and then we can type in a username and okay we will fix that error when we come back but now it's time to stop because we only have about five seconds left so thank you subscribe and follow me on twitter